In 1971, 24 male Stanford students were assigned either the role of a prisoner or a guard in a mock prison situated in a Stanford basement. Right off the bat, prisoners were intentionally dehumanized, guards were only supposed to call them by their number, and they wore ill-fitting smocks. Well, things got out of hand really quick. The guards really took to their role and there was serious cruelty, and by the second day there was a prisoner revolt. They were waking prisoners up in the middle of the night, taking away their mattresses so they had to sleep on concrete, and making them do push-ups as punishment. The psychology professor and pseudo-experimentalist in charge, Philip Zimbardo, planned for the study to go on for two weeks. But it only went on for six days because Zimbardo's then-girlfriend came by to help with the experiment, saw the conditions, and convinced him to stop for ethical reasons. There were two basic takeaways of the study. One, that when given authority in the right situation, people will basically act cruel and evil. And two, people tend to crumble in the face of adversity. It's one of, if not the most well-known psychology experiment in the world. But it and some other foundational psychology studies have so many flaws, both ethically and methodologically, that I developed quite a bias against psychology as a whole for a long time. Firstly, Zimbardo went into the study with a goal in mind. As a self-described bleeding-heart liberal, he wanted to bring about prison reform. I'm a bleeding-heart liberal that wants prison reform as well, but when you do science, you gotta be able to step away from it and just see what happens. Also, he actively participated in the study, playing the role of the prison superintendent and his research assistant actually coached the guards to be more cruel. Maybe in an attempt to save face, the most cruel guard said that he was actually trying to force something to happen so that researchers would have something to work with. He had acting experience and said that he was trying to play along, and there was no control group at all. The participants were incentivized by money and signed consent forms that didn't allow them to leave whenever they want, which is a big ethical issue. Basically, the experiment was never an actual experiment and wasn't even really science.